Pakistan denies President Coven permission to enter its airspace Pakistan has rejected a request made by Indian authorities to let President Ramnath Coven fly over Pakistani airspace for a visit to Iceland. Prime Minister Imran Khan approved the decision to reject the request. Pakistan Foreign Minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi said. He added that India's move to revoke Article 370 was responsible for the Pakistani decision. India's attempt to soft land on moon. Bold. Ex-NASA astronaut calling India's attempt to soft land CHANDRAYAAN-2's Vikram module on the lunar surface bold. Former NASA astronaut Jerry Lininger said that overall the mission has been very successful. He added that the attempt will help the country during its future missions. We should not be too discouraged. India was trying to do something very, very difficult, he further said. World would reckon ISRO's technological advancement. Mauritius PM Mauritius's Prime Minister Pravin Jugnauth congratulated India and the ISRO team for their attempt to land Chandrayaan 2's Vikram lander. Although it was not a successful landing this time, the world would reckon the major technological advancement of the Indian space program. We look forward to collaborative efforts between Mauritius and the ISRO team in the future, he said. PM Modi, ISRO will make it happen one day. Bhutan PM on moon landing after CHANDRAYAAN-2's Vikram lander lost contact with ISRO's ground station. Bhutanese PM Latai Chering said. We are proud of India and its scientists today. CHANDRAYAAN 2 saw some challenges last minute. But the courage and hard work you have shown are historical. I have no doubt PM Narendra Modi and his ISRO team will make it happen one day, he added. Indians clean mess made by Pakistanis outside Indian Embassy in London, the Indian community on. Saturday joined a campaign to clean the mess created by Pakistani protesters outside the Indian High Commission in London earlier this week. Pakistani protesters had damaged the Indian High Commission over Article 370's revocation in J&K. India's High Commissioner to the UK, Ruchi Garnisham, led the drive, and staff of the High Commission also joined it.